hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking to defrost ice accumulated on the outer surface of an automobile windshield warm air is blown over the inner surface of the windshield consider an automobile windshield a thickness of 5 mm and thermal conductivity of 1.4 watts per meter kelvin the outside ambient temperature is negative 10 degrees celsius and the convection heat transfer coefficient is 200 watts per meter square kelvin while the ambient temperature inside the automobile is 25 degrees celsius determine the value of convection heat transfer coefficient for the warm air blowing over the inner surface of the windshield necessary to cause accumulated ice to begin melting now here they are asking for the heat transfer coefficient in the inner surface so we have we are trying to calculate this one hi right h outside is provided k is provided and hi that's what we are trying to find now let's see how we can find it with given information now when we have all this information um, you should remember that our r total is connected with all this information right because r total is going to be equal to 1 over h outside because we have outside we have convection so 1 over h naught plus l over k right plus 1 over h i now we have all the other information we, we are trying to find this one but in order to find this one we need r total true right because we have two unknown we don't know this one and we don't know this one this is what we are trying to find so let's go ahead and see what how we can find r total now to find the r total what we can do is if we can't calculate heat flux we can calculate r total so let's see how we can calculate heat flux first so to find the heat flux what we do q dot that's heat flux that is equal to h outside times t infinity 1 minus t infinity actually is this inside outside right so h outside is given 200 watts per meter square kelvin so 200 times infinity inside is 25 so this is going to be 25 Hmm. you know what I can apply this one to this equation to from here to here so t1 is going to be surface to this one so that's going to be 0 degree Celsius so let's say this is t infinity 1 so 0 degree Celsius minus minus 10 degrees Celsius outside and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 2000 watts per meter square so this is our heat flux now we can also use this one use this heat flux in different way like q dot is equal to delta t over r total so this is another equation for heat flux now from this one we can find r total R total is going to be equal to Q dot over delta T, right? Mm -hmm. No, R total goes this way, delta T over Q dot. So this is going to be delta T over Q dot. So delta T is going to be temperature difference. So here now. Uh, in this case we can use inside outside so this is going to be t infinity inside minus t infinity outside over q dot now t infinity inside is 25 degrees celsius minus outside is 10 degrees celsius minus 10 degrees celsius so this is going to be minus 10 and q dot we calculated it's 2000 and from this one, if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.0175 meter square 
Kelvin per watts. Now we have this R total. Now let's see how we can find this HI using this information. Now we have to rearrange this equation. And if you rearrange this one, you will get R total, I mean HI is equal to 1 over R total minus 1 over H outside plus L over K, right? So from this one, if you, you can plug all the values, that is 1 over R total we calculated, that is 0 0.0175, and then we have minus 1 over H outside, that is 1 over 200, and then 1 over L over K, L is thickness, that is 5 millimeter, that is same as 0 0.005 meter, right, divided by thermal conductivity, that is 1.4 watts per meter Kelvin. Now, let's, okay, so this one is equal to, if you calculate this one, you should get 112 watts per meter square Kelvin. So that's going to be the final answer for this question. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.